Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend DG Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This That or the Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Annie Chang, and you are listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. We know people. Anyway, welcome back to another episode of the Salty and Petty podcast. She's a little bit salty. And he's a whole lot of petty. And together, we make the Salty and Petty podcast. Duh. By your powers combined, the internet's worst nightmare. (laughs) Best in jokes on the internet. Don't you forget it. Dick joke weapon of mass destruction. (laughs) Nuking all good taste. (laughs) Alright, kids. So, speaking... After after the discovery of Milk Manor, which is like my new Wonder Woman half figure, I think, like, the world is is doomed, so I don't care. Nah, well, again, yeah, we're... We're we're, we're, we're slightly more tasteful than Milk Manor. Oh yeah, that's a that's a that's a low bar to hurdle a, under. The bar is in hell, Phil, but we, we rise slightly above it. Just, just, just so you feel we put some thought into our stuff. They're just like, hey, your, your mom banged your friend, go. <laughs> anyway, one day we'll, we'll probably talk about that. <laughs> I was gonna say you, the way you keep bringing it up, we have to talk about that one day. I don't know, I don't know if I want to watch it, but yeah, we're gonna have to talk about. it. <laughs> Uh, but what are we talking about today, Phil? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked, Little Fire, because uh, just this week, uh, we got the season four premiere of Harley Quinn on Max. Boo! <laughs> I should stop. <laughs> it's hey, terrible name. I know. I love the... And it's purple. Why is it purple? <gasps> I love purple. <laughs> I it's know. It's not even a good Joker purple, for goodness sake. It's I know. A weird gradient, shiny... I love graphic design type purple. Because they want it to stand out. No one's used purple yet. <laughs> People use blue for a reason. Anyway, not my business to tell them when yet. Anyway, so it, did, you, did you ever think we could hear season four of Harley Quinn? Uh, Absolutely not. No. I mean, the first season for me was a little rough, and I was just like, oh, I don't think this can stand the test of time, but... They've kind of outdone themselves and proven me wrong. I know, but even if you are quality, I mean, I could still... I, I'm surprised. Well, it's Harley Quinn. Wow. I mean, as, as long as it's not too many gratuitous beaver jokes, it was going to get at least a six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it surprised even them, because it wasn't that the big gap between season two and season three. <laughs> yeah. But, like, let's just get into it. Um, So, first uh, episode of the season entitled Gotham Hottest Hottie. Um... We kind of pick up where we left off. Um, Ivy uh, uh, is on her first day at the Doom as the EO. And she's trying look, listen, as somebody in middle management, you don't want to make friends with these. They are worker bees. You are the queen. <laughs> yeah. Your door closed and your team message is on. That's all they need. No emails, team messages only. That's it. They're, they're probably afraid. Uh, well, she's probably afraid they all think she's on her firm in action hire or something. Well, guess what? Affirmative action's gone, boys. What's your excuse now? Um, I find it kind of funny though. So she's just like trying to play like say yes to everything. You can't. These people are idiots. That's why they're underlings. They'll do anything. They have no sense, and that's why the fi- that that's why the plan backfires when Blaine uh, Bane blows up an oil. You 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 gave Bane carte blanche? Are you freaking kidding me? He blows up an oil rig and causes chemical pollution in the sea. I mean, yeah, there's a fine line between thinking he's too stupid to do it. Do a ton of damage to, oh yeah, he is stupid enough to do a ton of damage. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, poor Ivy. She probably thought he was going to be busy uh, with that damn pasta maker still. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but yeah, listen, never underestimate the, stu- the stupidity of an underling. Seriously. You turn your back and the whole floor could be on fire, you know? Once like, it- you know that game, Floor is Lava, that could really happen in her particular case. <laughs> yeah, and again, it, Bane, it's always roid rage. Come on. But like, shout out to Nora. For being the most per- world's perfect executive assistant, talking some damn sense into her, and also she kicks Snowflame's ass. So I was told her, I'm yeah. like, Snowflame, I hate you. You're getting your ass kicked. Yes. Uh, Shout out to Steve Englehart and Carrie Bates. <laughs> New Guardians was never gonna work. We all know. We all know. Uh-huh. And he definitely didn't work as a villain of Catwoman, but it was me. They were doing it. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, I have feelings about Snowflame. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Uh, and it, it's and it's so. F- Nora has a type, you know, she's cozying up the Captain Cole. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But like, yeah. So she, she finally stands up to the Legionnaires, and she has some sense to hire Nora. And then we find out there's a serial killer targeting Gotham sex. Yes. And this is where the story takes a dive, for partly with the background. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're we're, <sighs> we're trying to make that a thing. Yeah. Babes. We're following Babes. the comics. Yeah. Anyway, I I will not comment on that. I will be on my best behavior. But yeah. So it's Harley investigating with the Bat family, and who the hell is it? Who's committing these murders? Professor Pig. That's right. <laughs> Professor Pig. Grant Morrison's worst creation. But Andy, I, I, I gotta give Andy Cooper on the original design. It did debut uh, as a corpse in the alternate reality story uh, for Batman Six Six. So I, I'll give you a little creativity, a little pizzazz on that. But like, no, seriously, Professor Pig as a Batman villain. Uh uh-uh. uh. I don't like it. I've never liked it. I've never gotten it. Makes no sense. I know. It's more like a, I don't know. I feel like that's that's the more like a Green Arrow villain. And am, am I tripping? Like I just never really. Got yeah, I get it. That. Yeah, it was just Grant Morrison trying to create. You know, and on Anawaska. Yeah, know? Grant Morrison trying to create their own. Uh... It's like babes, read the room. Pigs are not gothic. I'm sorry. They're not. That man has enough, enough of his own psychos. Like. It, exactly. Just. Sure, yeah. Should have steered into the Dr. Hertz kid, Grant, all right? I mean, what, yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. Um, but so, yeah, Professor Pig's out here committing murders because he wants to create the perfect henchman, and I'm like, uh, relatable content for me? <laughs> but I'm, all, I'm trying to build an android, you know? I don't I don't want no stinky, rotten human shit. That's, uh, that's the difference. Uh, yeah. So they're using Nightwing as bait, and I'm like, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. They capture him, but Harley freaking kills and that was like some um it was like almost uh tv uh ma jeez louise well we got nightwing's bare ass too booty um, looks good all the time that's just the natural evolution of the show at this point, i right? know mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like oh they actually did it um yeah yeah definitely don't pair this with uh my my, my adventures with superman <laughs> no 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 Ooh. I'm surprised we don't haven't... make that mistake. Yikes! <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't gotten a full-on sex scene in this show yet. Oh, it's coming. Hey, you know, I thought they would do it in the Valentine's Day episode. Yes. Where, you know, ugh, damn Clayface, the cock blocker. Anyway, <laughs> we'll get some more of him, and I think um, it's episode, episode three. three. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, no. So it's just like, oh. She still got some um, villain tendencies. We're gonna have to work on that. But my favorite part of the episode comes at the end because King Shark's wife is having shark puppies. His platonic wife. <laughs> yeah, I mean, good, good, good gig if you can get it. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> platonic life partners like Silent J and Bob. Duh. <laughs> and that will be the only positive Kevin Smith reference I will ever make. <laughs> nice. Oh, and then we get Ty Al Ghul. She's like, oh, Wayne Enterprises is having financial problems? I know just how to cheer Brucey boy up. Oh, I'm sure you did. Let me undo the zipper. I was going to say, they, they needed to steer into that skid. This is the show to do it with that zipper. How, you know. Oh, yeah. They oh, needed yeah. to play that joke. This damn zipper won't go up. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was, it was, I liked it. It's good. Like, it's it's kind of weird, right? Because, like. Like, we have four seasons, but it's, like, this is the 38th episode. Mm-hmm. And I think the end of the season will get us to 47 instead of 50. I don't know. They, they... <laughs> No. Oh. Because, like, the first one was 13. The second season was 10. Then we had the, the special. Um, no. Valentine's Day. So it's like, you know, and this one's only going to get 10 episodes. I think going forward, we're only going to have 10 episodes. Just because animation, we're kind of on. And Warner Brothers is trying to, like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they, like, I'm not trying to speak this into existence. I'd be super pissed, but, like, they're trying to do tax cuts on everything, and I'm like, if they cancel Harley for tax cuts, we riot. We riot at dawn, and we riot. We need at least another season or two so we can get, imagine what they're going to do for episode 69. Exactly! You don't even have to get to 75 or 100. You only got to get to 69. That's it. That's all we ask. <laughs> Something's going to happen where everyone's just, like, talking where it sounds like their mouth full or something. No, it'll be a flashback to the year ni- uh, 1996. Uh. Can't be too on the nose. Can't be too on the nose. But yeah, this is a solid episode. I thought it was freaking hilarious. Um, Like I said, the anime 
animation took a while for me to get used to, but I really, I really kind of like the stylized. Um, I think Harley looks the best, is like the best character. I also like, um, mm-hmm. I also like Clayface's design too, and mm-hmm. I think King Shark's pretty fun. But I think Ivy has the best design for sure. Yeah, Ivy's good. Yeah. Uh, and who doesn't love Ron Punch and King Shark? Oh, and, you know, yeah. Alan Tudyk as freaking Clayface, the Joker, Firefly, and God knows who else. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm looking around that Legion of Doom uh, meeting room, and I'm just like, man, half that group is like Flash villains. Well, it's like Grodd, Reverse Flash. That's Flash doesn't, he, he Captain talks Cold. to his villains. He oh, doesn't yeah. kill his villains. He, he doesn't even send them to Arkham or, you know, the Black Gate Penitentiary. He just talks to them. And I'm like, why is Sinestro wasting his time with this? He's 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 plotting his plots. You know, he's, he's, he's um, you know, trying to throw the Green Lantern Corps off. I guess, yeah. Um, but I did, um, I just remembered that, um, there is a, a Nepo baby in this group, um, Brianna Coco, that uh, voices, um... Batgirl, Batgirl. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, Rachel Dragon's Nora Freeze, I love that for her. I love her. I do. <laughs> oh, that so is fun. So good, so good. And I think Kaylee Cuoco's doing a good job, uh... Oh, yeah, like, I wasn't really sold on it, I was, I was a little skeptical, um, but I was like, she can't do worse than Bernadette from Big Bang, so... Yeah, no, no. no. I mean, they, they all can't be Tara, but, you know, she doesn't really, she's made it her own, and I really, I really like it. She, she, I mean, no offense to Big Bang Writer's Room, like, I didn't, like, because of that writing, I didn't know if she would, like, actually have that comedic timing that, like, Harley Quinn character would, uh, do, could, like, you know, could she pull it off, but she has. She was a lot of the naysayers wrong, so I, I like her a lot. Well, you know how they wrote her. Cold, wet, hard nipples. Exactly. But no, I mean. I- Male gays. How, how about we pull that? Uh, how about we pull that uh, Strange New Worlds crossover episode? Let's get a uh, let's get a <gasps> do a live action Harley Quinn episode. I don't think so. No, I don't think. At least at least with her as Harley. Come on. Yeah, that would be fun. She gets sent to the real. <gasps> they, they can't reveal her dead pool powers just yet, though. <laughs> That's a little too fourth wall breaky. So and then <laughs> episode two. <laughs> oh, you want to do them all? Okay. Oh no, we don't. I mean that's. I mean, no, that's fine. I watched all three. Okay. <laughs> I just thought it was funny that she had to train with Alfred for uh, an episode two. Yeah. Uh, so then the second episode is called Bitch. And it's basically, I mean, um, well, it's, you know, the acronym Bitch. Yes. Uh, uh, Ivy, Ivy attends this weird networking event um, for evil businesswomen. And that's where she meets Talia. And I'm just like, okay, I kind of ship it. I kind of ship it. And then she's like, she learns through Harley that she like is like, um, like the conservator of the Wayne Enterprises, and she's given Ivy all these plans on how to legally replace Gotham's male trees with females because fuck the patriarchy, not wanting uh, poor people to have free food, and that's why I have allergies. Do you know how pissed I was? Like sexism is real, even in biological, like scientific things. Like it's crazy. Hmm. So I kind of like that little bit too. And then so like that that whole that whole plan was for her to help like ruin basically Wayne Pharmaceuticals. Oh. Uh, so that was, that was really cool. And then there's like this little bit of tension, but like, is it sexual tension? Uh, they definitely got a little mutual respect for each other. So I thought that that was really cool. And then they have, they're like so far on the different ends of like villainy too. Like mm-hmm. I, like, I feel like Ivy and Doc, uh, Mr. Freeze did nothing wrong. Tell y'all cool. Eh, I'm just saying. <laughs> and I just love her relationship with Damien. It's like, oh, what size pacifier would you recommend for a 12 year old? <laughs> exactly. At least, they, at least they know. They, they, see, now this is how you read a room and you shade that lamp. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So, yeah. So, we cut over to Harley again, kind of one of these episodes, because she's with the family. Uh, yeah. Fam, and she's on punishment for breaking the no-killing rule. And she's like, but you never it, told me. <laughs> you never told me. It's like, she gets demoted to Alfred's assistant. Uh-huh. That's a thing? That's a thing that can happen? Is that where Duke's been this whole damn time? Oh, Duke's been in the East Wing of freaking Maine, a Wayne Manor cleaning. Okay, that's my head cannon to prove another one. I was just waiting for a joke about, oh, you really meant polishing the silver. Okay. <laughs> and then, so that's where um, the technique called bitch, breathe, identify the problem, tea break. Oh, how, how British. Consider your options, handle it. And I'm just like, is no. It, is this Alfred? Somebody really wanted it to be bitch. Is, is this Alfred or Captain Cold? <laughs> exactly. Throw away the plan. <laughs> Basically, when it comes to Harley. It's just like, okay, I, I, I can use that, I think. It's just like, Alfred, are you, are you, 
trying to rob a bank? What, what, what's going on? Oh, yeah, they take the Batmobile out. Yeah, and he, uh, he goes in the rob the bank. and Because uh, he wants to join Master Bruce in prison. But they're like, no, no, no. no that's where the we Black We need eight. you. You're the only thing keeping this family together. No, Bla- they're like, oh, Black eight. No, that's where the 1% go. No, you got to go through Arkham first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope we get some funny scenes of El- with Alfred and Arkham. Yeah. Although, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in that town. Joker's mayor. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, look at who's in power. A crazy white guy. Exactly. But um, Joker's not crazy. That's all in a suitcase. So he can keep going through the revolving door of Arkham. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Don't fall for that. I Oh, I have a triple digit body count. Oh, I'm crazy. <laughs> Here, smell my flower. Is that acid? <laughs> well, yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. <laughs> but yeah, my favorite episode so far, obviously, is Icons Only. It's mm. Harley and Ivy traveling to Vegas, baby. Yeah, I'll party. We're gonna spend some quality time together. And I, I was hoping we would get like a vibrating bed or something like that. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. You get a vibrating bed, and you get a vibrating. <laughs> exactly, because they want to go see Clayface's new show, and I'm like, oh. Although they're they... supporting their bestie, I love that for them. But oh. the tickets are sold out. I know. I'm like, well, if you would have treated him better, he would have left tickets up front. Exactly. And oh yeah, so Harley's like, oh, I shouldn't be a hero because like now everybody hates me. I know she, she's trying to do a secret identity. Margaret? Margaret? Really? Yes. Really? She put on that wig. I thought she was gonna be like, oh, a magpie. Oh no, for real, for real. Because uh, Margaret. Uh, exactly. That's why I definitely thought they were going. I was like, oh, wasted opportunity. Um. But yeah, there maybe were. It, maybe it's a. Um, maybe it's a clue. Maybe. Oh, maybe. But yeah, there were no vibrating beds, but they did go down in the elevator. Hell. <laughs> oh, Clayface is so petty. You must have loved it. He's like, nah, you ain't selling these tickets. Ivy, how dare you not keep in touch with me when they get into that fight? They're like, <gasps> they get the call, the tap is going into labor. Nine shark puppies. I, I cannot. I-, I almost passed out when I saw that. I was like, oh my God. F in the chat, bro. F in the chat. I know. <laughs> but like, they're gonna co- she's going to co parent with King Shark. So I was just like, oh, and then Harley and Ivy are the children's godparents, so you know something's about to go wrong. Uh-huh. Um, so, like, they're having that little heart to heart, and she's like, you know, we're all on two different paths. I'm at the Legion of Doom, and you're chasing the Bat family for some godforsaken reason. And then Harley's like, well, you know, I, I was going to play, I was planning to move in with the Bat family. You know, I really, really want to check out this hero thing. And, you know, Ivy being the sweet doll that she is, she's like, I'll support you, but we're breaking up. There's no fucking way I'm going to be <laughs> dealing with that. <laughs> oh, like broken up again. <laughs> they just really love messing with us. I, I know. I ship it. I want it. Stop. I mean, the will they or won't they? They have been. Just let them be. Just let them be. Uh, oh my. Some of the. Did you see this? Some of the uh, upcoming uh, getting, episodes. Getting ice dick. Don't wait up. I am dying for that episode. Business conference without chlamydia. <laughs> what is this? A, a, a Elon Musk conference room? If you know, you know. Most culturally impactful film franchise. <laughs> oh, um, MC. Oh. Are we finally getting the death of Batman from by the Joker? Oh, that'd no, be we fu- did that season two. That would be funny. <laughs> uh, the mayor's pet project. Um, I'm more curious, honestly, about potato based pony incident. Yes, I saw I'm that. I'm like, um, um, swamp thing. <laughs> And we end this season with Killer's Block. <laughs> mm. Not Writer's Block. Hold up, wait. There was one that they ch- that they changed a few of the uh, episodes. Hmm. Huh. You know, I saw. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, yeah, just looking at the seasons. Like, yeah, like you were saying, the count just goes down. The first two were 13. Last season was 11. Now we're at 10. Yeah. Just waiting for, hey, season five, six episodes. Oh, did they change all three of the first episodes? That one? Oh. Yeah, they changed a couple of the titles. Which huh. did, don't. Anyway. I mean, I know there's a there's a reason for it, but it's like really drop dropping the first three episodes of a ten episode season. I'm like, especially with the strike going on. HBO, listen, HBO has always been kind of weird when they drop their scenes sometimes. Yeah, like, when they're trying to that that's why I was kind of a little worried about Harley. Like maybe they are trying to get a tax credit because they will burn through the episodes and go, oh, no more seasons. We're gonna write it off as a, we're gonna take it off streaming. So guys, guys, seriously, buy the DVD or Blu-ray when when yeah. they come out. Because HBO is just very unpredictable right now under the helm of Discovery. 
But I'm just like. I mean, they've been taking stuff off the streaming and just like literally getting rid of it, gone forever. It's in the vault. So. Wait, what's in the vault? All that stuff that they took off, all that content. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they even tried to put Sesame Street, for God's sake. Like, that Jeez. that really raised my eyebrows. And it, it's a lot. It, it's very hard to support. Uh, well, yeah. just Warner Brothers. It's not really necessarily HBO themselves. Uh, once, they they want to do good, but I don't know. They put the idol out. Once again. They keep giving Sam Levinson jobs. I don't know, man. I don't know. Once again. Maybe they're, <gasps> maybe they're doing the Elon Musk con. Maybe they're trying to go bankrupt so they don't have to pay back those bills. I don't know. No. Again, kids. Yeah, that's my theory. If you love TV, TV shows or movies, so... Uh, physical media kid yeah um, i have to go back to my like um my vhs hoarding days it's weird uh, we live in the future i shouldn't have to live like this I'm running out of space man yeah i was gonna say i've never gone without physical media at all but oh i gave it up for a while comics books specifically i know digital, i know but like and then like all my movies were like on plex for a long time and then i was just but i always had the actual physical media i just didn't have it in the house i, think. I mean i'm just glad i'm just glad i've kept all my comic books my whole life just because you know it, marvel dc oh hey this well, this one's not on the app it's like oh, really yeah just randomly not on the app ah, no yeah i um i have sold quite a bit of comic books but i only keep the ones in me still probably over like i don't know fifty thousand comics each. over fifty thousand. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I collect a lot of other stuff like Malibu, um, Comet. I collect, wow. Like, um, wizard, like the old wizard stuff, Fan- Fantagoria. Um, I'm probably like I a... collect all the like, um, you know, the DC yeah. and Marvel yeah, yeah. Insider stuff. And, um, yeah. Wow. Okay. I thought I was, I thought I was bossing around at like 26 or 27. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Like, just Archie Archie Comic Digest and just regular yeah. Archie Comics. Yeah, I, I collect a lot. I've, I've toned down in my later years. Well, yeah, I mean, that's huge anyway, but especially the way you move around. Well, yeah, like I said, it stays in storage for the most part. That's that's why I mainly had to digitize my collection. <sighs> yeah, that's a lot. But, you know, new, you know, in this new era, I haven't really been buying that many comic books. It feels kind of good. I can't believe how much money I'm It's kind of ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not supporting, like, three comic book stores, but it's kind of nice. I'm not putting some, some comic book guy's kid to college. Yeah, Kyle's say, come on, <gasps> Liz, come up here. Well, um, you weren't going to buy a comic book store? Uh, yeah, I did want to. We'll get to read for free. Come on. The, the way the U.S. is set up right now, I don't think I'm going to be coming home for a while. <laughs> like permanent. Ah, uh, the minute you do, let me know. We'll have to have a big episode. Love Hellfire's coming home party. Uh, probably. 20 never. February. I mean, oh. I have to come back February. Oh. And I have to stay. I have to stay in the States for like three months old back or something. I'm not really trying to stay around for this shit show. <laughs> uh, all right, I wish I had seen this before, but um, yeah, breaking news. Uh, uh, uh Beyond the Spider Verse has been delayed, of course. What? Yep. Was supposed to be Why? The stri- what the fuck are you doing, Marvel? The strike. The strike. Oh, will. okay, okay. I thought they had everything done though. It was I like don't know. And ready to go, so that's weird. No, I I knew that for a fact. I thought. No, something fishy is going on. It's not the strike. Oh, Let God. Let me see. But Madam Web's still coming out. Jesus. No, shut your mouth. Guess they're, guess oh, they're... that's why they're delayed. Like, well, there's nothing else for you to watch. You gotta come see it. Guess what, bitches? It's Morbin time for real. <laughs> guess they're like, this, this, I guess they're like, this technically doesn't count as writing. Ooh. Ooh. Now be nice to Sony. Uh, I know. <sighs> that's crazy. I thought I literally thought it was edited and ready to go, and they were just. I don't know. I was gonna say, when did they stop writing, working on that? Because I think it's like. Oh, you know what? Yeah. You can't. Well, what was it by May or June? If they weren't done by then, they they, they might not be able to release well, it. Yeah, the original release date was what March 29, twenty twenty four, which makes no sense. I say go back to the Christmas. Go back to the yeah. Christmas. Yeah, it might end up being Christmas next year. Yeah, maybe if we're lucky. Like I said, I was fully prepared to not be watching TV until twenty new TV like that yeah. was reality TV until twenty twenty six. Like, because uh, a lot of shows were like like Stranger Things, like a lot of shows even before like it was official that the writers were going to strike and stuff. Uh, that they were saying, oh, you know, we might not come back till twenty twenty five, and that's when I knew I was like, oh, they don't want to pay them. They're, no. they're fully prepared to not have writers file. That's insane. It's time to catch up on old stuff, kids. I mean, that's what I've been doing. Like I said, I've been, I, I did the, all the Star Trek um, films from, from beginning to including the goddamn Kelvin timeline. And now I'm doing Fast and Furious. And come to find out, come to find out, Peacock, I've been giving you all this love and props. You don't have six and you don't have eight. I 
understand not having nine. That's still relatively new. But you don't have six. You don't have six or eight. Thank God I got it on DVD, but that's not the point. Now I have to like, either do the six or do the nine. And get get my damn Blu-rays and then come back and finish. It's so annoying. It's like, what's the point of it? What, what's the point of having only a few? Just don't do it at all. Like, at least at least Paramount Plus has literally all the Star Trek stuff. They have all the TV shows and all the movies. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to do anything. Again, physical media, because... Uh, uh, I know, but when you pack it up, it's like... I know, but once again... some damn sense. Once again, they can, they can remove stuff with the touch of a button. They didn't it. even remove it. They've never had it. I guess uh, somebody has it. They never got the rights back to it right now or something. Uh, and it's weird because it's like, wouldn't you should have six but not seven because seven is where Brian dies and that's the one where everybody will, and, and The Rock really shows up and shows out in that one. So you would think that's the one they would want to put out there to have. I don't know. I'm not, I, I'm not Tiny Dick. I don't know what's going on. It's seven, eight, nine. Either do the six or do the nine. Exactly. Exactly. But yeah, so now, yeah I'm, I'm probably going to watch all of Supernatural if they don't really resolve this by December. I've been threatening I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's 15 seasons right there. I'm going to catch up on all the Simpsons episodes. I'm like 16 seasons behind, so that's content right there. I think I'm like three seasons behind on American Dad. There's new Futurama, so I can totally go back and binge all that and start over again. There's plenty of stuff for me to do, like I said. Yeah, I mean... I'll read books if I have to. Don't I, threaten me with it this time. I, I've been watching all We'll bring back the book club, Phil! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I mean, I've been catching up on... Uh, old old episodes of original law and order <laughs> you know what i really do want to do the full like universe binge oh there you go i mean i mean i'll have to pick like a specific episode to stop for svu like probably like the season before this one and just, just that's the cutoff because I'll, I'll be i'll be there for the rest of my life at this point i was gonna say there's probably a, a list online somewhere where it tells you like how to watch them all in order, all this, all this series and stuff. With and, all the crossovers and stuff. Because yeah. you, know, you know there's crossovers with, um, there was the L.A. series, and then they also have some with the Chicago PD fire yeah, people, yep. too. So mm-hmm. it's like, mm, if you really want to get sucked into the Dick Wolf of Earth, uh, it's a lot, man. You get, you might have to even take it way back to, like, New York Undercover. It, it's a whole thing. But even when they do crossover, you just want to watch it in, like, the order they aired and stuff. Oh, God, that, that would be such a task. I know. Because, like, at one time, it was three Law & Order shows on there. And, uh, and it is once again. <laughs> no, no. I think it was four because I think it was regular Law & Order. SVU. SVU, Criminal Intent, and Trial by Jury. It uh, only got one season, but I remember they were all on at the same time. Is that... Uh, wasn't there one... That's the one with Jerry Orbach died. Yeah, but I thought... Didn't he only do, like, one episode before he passed? I thought... I didn't yeah, think it was, like, a whole... I mean, they only... I think they got, like, literally, like, six or six episodes. And yeah. I think they aired it all at once or something like some weird thing but you can find them you can find all the episodes for mm-hmm. Trial by Jury. it had freaking Lilith from Frasier I was like oh man not B.B. Newman no I love B.B. Newman she she I love B.B. Newman I was just like oh so bad it's so funny watching the old episodes and seeing you know actors who you, know, you see and you're like oh they're gonna come back as seven so and so exactly <laughs> there's so many exactly. of them I think every I think everyone had it like after a, at a certain point, you know, first they have to come in as a criminal or, you know, or a witness. And then or a dead like, body. Worst yeah. of all, a dead body. <laughs> Ow. Oh, how do you get a job being a dead body on Law & Order? Ow. I don't know. No, no, no. It's not a joke. Oh. No, I'm saying how do you get a oh. job as a dead body? <laughs> that was a punchline. <laughs> like, I don't know, Phil, how? No, it's not a stiff joke, Little Hellfire. No. Uh, no. It's the Dick Wolf universe. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, as long as we can play. <gasps> we play. have a Capes and Lunatics t-shirt? Yes! We play dead bodies just sprawled out on the sidewalk in Capes and Lunatics t-shirts. Yes! Quick, who's friends with our favorite Nepo baby, Marushka Harkate? We got an idea. We got some synergy. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I mean, we really can't do it until the actors get off stripes. I know. I'm pretty sure that's a union set, my friend. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. New York, yeah. So. Oh my God. Get we, your sad card, bud. Get, get your sad card. Give be a, like Rob Salkey. Oh, get your sad card. Get, give it. Give him the. Uh, give him all the rights. Be like, yeah. Can you like uh, one episode? Can you uh, revolve a whole mystery around the Capes of Lunatics podcast? Who killed the podcasters who talk too much? <laughs> like we, we're doing conspiracy theories, but we're too on the nose. Somebody comes and kills us. Oh, they. Oh, you know what the joke would be in the. Uh, in that cold open, right? It'd be like, ah, uh, well, someone didn't like their dick jokes. Now they're the stiffs. <laughs> this isn't freaking. Um, da, 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 da. This isn't my 
Miami freaking CSI. Put the glasses on. Yeah! Dun, dun, dun. That's more of a, a CSI Miami kind of a cold open, bud. Uh, no, they used to do that a lot of work. They used to. I yeah. Oh, God. I don't know what we're going to I don't know what I'm going to do with myself, honestly. Hey, oh. For September, like, I was really, I was, like, I was hoping, like, new stuff was supposed to be coming out. I'm like, oh, I, I guess I am going to be reading books on sabbatical. Oh, you're literally going to be sitting at home? I thought you were, like, traveling or something. Yeah, I have to travel for, like, okay. two and a half weeks, but it's, like, spread out. Like, this wasn't worth it. Las Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas. Oh, yeah, she is. I knew it. London. Uh, where else? Was I? I forgot what city in Germany is, but it's, like, weird. We have, we have like, a road show for work, so it's just, like. I'm going to need to recoup because we're going to be on so many time zones. I oh, damn. Not looking forward to it, actually. I, I need it. to fly right now. So it's really gross to fly. Oh, for one is People it? are absolutely losing their minds right now on the planes. I don't know if you've been keeping up with those stories. Oh, yeah. More than like five people freaking out. Are you afraid you're going to Are you afraid you're gonna see lizard people? I'm afraid somebody on the plane's going to think they see lizard people and then the freaking air marshal is going to have to freaking delay the plane. I'm, I'm terrified of that at this point. Uh, There's so many freakouts on planes right now. I know. I don't know what's in that, that airport beer. <clears throat> I don't know if it's tainted or something, but it's, it's been kind of a crazy, crazy time this year. for <laughs> Taint. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yeah. Oh, hey. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, did we want to mention, we did say we might mention the Hellfire Gala. Oh, yeah, we got time, I guess. Yeah. You got time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is that? Like, I'm so sick of the Hell- Hellfire Gala, even though it bears my name. Like, I am so embarrassed. It's like, what, the third one already? And it's like, it's, yeah! it's supposed to be annual. Like, we're really doing this in real time? Really? I mean, I think it's less variance this year, but it's a nine. First of all, it's a $9 book. I say it's worth six. Hey, old. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it, but, like, I really, literally didn't need it. I know. I'm sick of Krakoa. Either do the six or do the nine. And I know how they're going to fix the whole thing. I, you know how they're going to fix it, the same way they got into this mess. Yeah. You just see it from a mile away. It's so obvious. Yeah. You know who you know who has to die, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, Miss Marvel, a mutant, inhuman? Oh, yeah. We already brought that <laughs> Kamala Khan already, yes. Yeah. It's like, oh, you guys. I mean, you know. I mean, I'm glad in a way, but, like... And what was the, what was that? What I was know, happening? and it's like I, he was already there, so it wasn't a surprise. But the kingpin, really, the kingpin, yeah, the king. He's but a humble spice merchant. Krakoa's got no spices. Former <laughs> mayor, I know. Oh, jeez. Oh, Former mayor of New York. I mean, Will Wilson Fisk. Tom Brand. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, and then, uh, and then Tony Stark's going to be marrying Emma Frost. <laughs> I like that. It makes sense. I guess. I think it's a little political They're marriage. They're conning but... each other. It is going to be glorious. They're not going to consummate the relationship, unfortunately. It's the only thing that I want to see. Is I don't know. Why not? They're both single, aren't they? That way, that way she can take all his money. I don't think they're going to consummate. It's, it's a whole thing. Oh, because the legal. Person, yeah, yeah, yeah. The like legal. how you annul the marriage yeah. and things like that. So that, that's my whole thing. Yeah, true. Yeah, she was in this week's Iron Man uh, issue. So, yeah, yeah it's it's coming, kids. Hail. Uh <laughs> It's oh yeah, both issues are gonna like like connect or whatever. I read that I forget which issue it was. It was on the back of the list, and I'm like, oh. I I, I just know because I wasn't gonna read it first. I opened up Iron Man. It says, "Don't read this issue until after Hellfire Gala." I'm like, okay, put it down, pick up the Hellfire Gala. <laughs> oh my god, you let a comic book tell you what to do, Phil? <laughs> yeah, I told you it's part of my ongoing lawsuit. <laughs> I hope you win that. One. Thank you. <laughs> entertaining but like the the foreshadowing isn't subtle i just felt like i got a headache from all the anvils mm-hmm. and you know i wasn't that impressed with the story or the art so yeah i was kind of just like oh beat him down beat him down yeah oh i'll show you my phone. what cover did you get i think i just got cover a i believe hold on wait i'm not looking see wait oh you don't have <gasps> girl does it have a stack of color books no not in front of me no oh okay um Oh, I thought you were putting yours up on the screen. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking for. Okay, you. hold on. I'll tell you which one I have because, uh, yes, the Ray recommended. I have all mine on the CLZ app or CLZ is racist. Yes, yeah. you don't have your own server. But... Yes, that's who should. That should, should sponsor us. Okay, hold on. for only fifteen dollars a year, kids, you're gonna get the CLZ app. Are you racist? <laughs> no, I just make fun of Ray. Make fun of Ray. Yeah. 
Oh, damn it. We didn't say Batman on last episode. Shh, it's fine. He got a week off. It's fine. I know. Yeah, I got cover A. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it still has Emma Frost cleavage on it. Come on. And Jean Grey. Hey, yo. Because he's a schmuck. There we go. Oh, geez, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was at 69% too. Chef's kiss, my computer number. Oh, my. <laughs> the preview would have set to 69 I didn't even mean to do that. Like, it's just there. It's fine. Anytime my phone gets down to 69%, I think of you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lilith. <laughs> <laughs> Lilith. But yeah, no, like, I... It is what it is. I'm, I'm going to be glad when it's over. Yeah. It's obviously just a gimmick. It, it, I'm sick of the shtick. I'm sick. Mm-hmm. I Let's get it. back to basics. Like, oh my god! Like reading X Men this last what five years, six years? It's been such a slog, man. Oh my! Over it. I mean, it's been get bo- back to some damn action. Hell, it was what like a year or two before the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a while. Yeah, I'm saying like five, six years. Yeah, we've been doing this. It's time. I mean, I, I, at this rate, I don't even know if the mutants are actually coming to them. Uh, well, if they are, it's probably gonna be the. Well, we are getting uh, Wolverine and Deadpool coming here soon. Is that really going to be actually connected to the actual universe of Lynch? Uh, I don't. Question. Yeah, I don't know. Is it just a, a tease, though? It's like, hey, you wanted some X Men? There. Let's let us know. Um, honestly, yeah, I don't think it'll be connected to the Brady. Really? Well, the... House of X number one was uh, July 2019. I'm like, it seems longer than that. <laughs> yeah. It is way longer than that. I know. Well, you know, we've been dealing with these impossible burger points. I mean, uh, I mean, we're still four, we're four years in, so. Yeah. God, it feels like an achievement. I know. But at least we got Marauders out of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was a good book for a long time. Oh, Storm Number 3 was out, too. Yes. That was a really good book. I like that book. And Wolverine 35. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's your, um, thoughts, what's your thoughts on that, turning Beast evil? I'm like, don't we already have a Dark Beast? <laughs> that was my literal reaction. Like, I keep waiting can for... Can we th- give Hank McCoy a break? I keep like, waiting for the reveal where it's Dark Beast, and I'm like, okay, that makes sense, but... No, they, they actually wanted Hank McCoy to be bad. I don't know. He's literally a fan favorite. Been there from the beginning. What are you doing? I guarantee you they told them how, what, at whatever point they're like, oh, yeah, no matter when this ends, you know we're going to turn it all around. So you guys, yeah, just go ape shit and do whatever you want. That's probably what it is. Well, then, then that, and, you know, like I said, it does feel disingenuous. It feels like they're just doing it for shock value. Like, I know. Bro, it's 2023. Um, I've been reading comics since I was, like, four years old. Like, I'm pretty unflappable. <laughs> I, I honestly don't care what you do at this point because I know at the end of the day, status quo will come back eventually. Yes, yes, it has to. it's just the nature of comics. Especially once they hit, hit if they hit the MCU, yeah, yeah. So it's like, okay, now you just made me mad. Now I'm not going to read the rest of the books. Great job, great job, bravo. <sighs> like people are way too sad for that. Like, like with the Kamala Khan thing, oh, we know she'll be back. Yeah, and again, again, like there was a ton of death. Fallen but... friend, and she's back. Oh yeah. And again, you know these deaths are going to be turned around too because they're like, oh, really? They're going to kill off Jean Grey? Okay. I mean, it's not like they haven't done it before. Yeah, she? but it, how many times has it lasted? Never. Sometimes it, it lasted for a little bit. Sometimes it like, takes a few years, but I mean, it always gets reversed. Sometimes it takes almost half a decade, but she comes back. Yeah. I mean, you know, she does have her clone, and then there's that, uh, you know, their daughter from the yeah, future. Yeah, but I'm, future. I mean, they killed Iceman, they killed Cyclops, they killed Jubilee. I mean, again, come on. Yeah. They're reversing it. I mean, Cyclops, he can stay dead. That's fine. I knew you were going to say that, but I'm just saying, you know. Listen, I'm telling you, if, if a guy likes Scott Summers, it is a red flag. If they say Scott Summers is their favorite character, that's almost as bad as Nate Gray, but not as not as much. Not as much. It's just slightly worse. Little Hellfire. Like, I don't trust you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to know. Little Hellfire's uh, red, red eyes, red flag. Exactly. Child soldier. He's, he's brainwashed. Xavier did a number on him. That's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, hot takes, boys. Hot takes. <laughs> yeah, they're giving us some hot takes. Yeah. Steaming. Yeah. Steaming. <laughs> Steaming piles. Wow. <laughs> You do know how dolphins poop, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thick, thick rope coils. Just saying. Whoa! <laughs> that's, that's what it's looking like. Dolphin poop. <laughs> Thank you, family guy. Dolphin poop and uh, duck penises. Welcome to the Capes and Lunatics. <laughs> don't, for the love of God, don't Google duck penis. You will be traumatized. Right. You know how duck penises work, right? Uh, I need that as a drop, please. Slow down, slow down. We need this for jobs. Holes be down. All right. Uh, On that note.
Oh, on that note. All right. So, yeah, shall we get out of here? Uh, all right. Is it stage left, my friend? On that note. All right. I had thoughts. Okay, so next episode, do you want to do... Well, I mean, we'll, we'll be there. Do we want to do the uh, season finale of uh, Strange New Worlds? I'm always down to talk about Star Trek. Yo. Uh, and then... I haven't watched it yet, but was there an Adam Eve special on uh, yeah. Paramount? Do we, yeah. yeah, do we want to do that? If you want, I didn't know you had Prime. Uh, yeah, I do. How do I think I watch all this Star Trek? I'm not a pirate. I thought you just had Paramount. <laughs> wait, what? It's not all. Wait, it's not all Paramount uh, Plus. Invincible is on Prime. Oh yeah, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting confused. Yeah, no, I do have Prime. Yeah. The other P, the other P streaming service. P <laughs> Yes, I do have Prime also. Sorry. Okay. I get all confused. No, it, it is literally way too many sides. It's on the magic box. I hit the button, the magic. Uh, the show comes on. All right. So there you go, kids. So, yeah, to round out your uh, August, yeah, we'll do Star Trek Strange New Worlds next episode. And then uh, we'll give you some, we'll give you the Adam Eve special. So I watched Invincible. How do you think I watched Invincible? I don't know. I thought maybe you just switched off every couple of months on, on the streaming services like you do. Hail. No. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, no. And then, uh, uh, as you fans of the uh, Capes and Lunatics know, Little, little Hellfire will be taking a little break in September. Uh, but never fear. Will and I will be here to do some uh, Unlimited Justice episodes. Ooh, fancy. Oh, we're going to not. I mean, I, of course, I basic. I picked two Flash episodes. But uh, Will's still there on his list, Don. But we might do some Alan Moore Swamp thing, at least an episode. I'd love to hear his thoughts on on another green character. Go imagine. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I love. But I love Swamp Thing, so I am interested to see it. Yes. Especially Alan Moore. Is that one of his final picks? Tune in, kids. <laughs> see what makes the cut. <laughs> Will it be uncut? Oh. It had no face, no personality. <laughs> Must have been cold because I saw a turtleneck. <laughs> anyway, kids, uh, I don't know how you guys walk around those things, she says. <laughs> All right, kids. So, yeah, there's your next two episodes, and then we'll be back in October. Well, I'll still be here, just not on Sony and Petty. All right, uh, so send us all, send us your thoughts. Uh, I, he was in the pool. <laughs> I was in the pool. <laughs> Elaine, do women know about shrinkage? You mean like laundry? <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah. Again, yeah. So we have a little bit of uh, lead up time here. So, yeah. Send us your thoughts on Star Trek Strange New World Season 2 finale, the Adam Eve special. And again, we're going to we're gonna be off for a month of, from this show. So, send us your requests. What do you want to hear us uh, talk about uh, towards the end of the year? So, what do you want Lil's Hellfire's thoughts on? <laughs> Remember the... Uh, Remember, government agencies are listening. All right, so let's make Phil watch the Barbie movie. Hmm, then I'll have to think of a movie to make you watch. Hmm. Remember, Lilith. I don't get mad. I get even. So, I mean, you know, I already watched Ant Man. <laughs> Not much work she can do to me, bud. Uh, you have to watch the Marvels. So I mean, like, what else is there, bud? Come on, two of the three probably won't be bad. Come on. <laughs> All right, so send us. Your... If it comes out on time. Exactly. I, I saw another... Oh, that's the other rumor I saw. They they might delay it just because they can't... Per, you know, like, people in the movie won't be able to promote it and stuff. Supposedly. Yeah. <laughs> Supposedly. The excuse is better than none. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, let's throw it to the... Let's, th- let's throw it to 20, 2024's fiscal year. Okay. All right, kids. Send us your thoughts. Email us. Capes and Lunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail. 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember, you can find all things... You didn't stop me. Salty and Petty 69 at gmail.com. I was going to let the old man, you know, do his spiel. Hang on, yeah. I pooped my pants. All right. Uh, <laughs> find all things Capes and Lunatics episodes, social media, merchandise, and the Patreon where Little Hellfire really lets loose. Uh, so find it all at uh, tubespace.io slash Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network. That's tubespace.io slash Capes and Lunatics Podcast Network. Oh, yeah. By the end of the year, we have to do the, uh, you know, the mixed bag of uh, topics. We're just, you mean Noel and Justin. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? We should do that. 
we should do that like towards the end of the year. Yes. Okay. <laughs> There's your Christmas present, kids. <laughs> the rent to end all rents. Oh my! <gasps> so, rent off. So Noel, here's your rant. Uh, tell us about the uh, uh, Chris, the uh, economic factors of Christmas. Go. <laughs> All right, so uh, little hellfire. Everyone's internet uh, Mexican grandma. Where can people get a hold of you? <laughs> um, if you guys want to hang with me on the interwebs, I am a meta girly, decidedly done with Twitter. So, um, hear me on Facebook at little hellfire. Find me on Instagram at internet granny, and also on Threads at internet granny. That's G R A N N I E. Either do the six or do the nine. Uh, it's so salty. Content, what? Wholesome content because I'm an internet granny. It's so salty. Yeah, she's wholesome, kids. Sweat it. We were busy boning. Uh, she got a month off, kids. Let me get a ride on your alligator back, bro. Somebody's muffins getting buttered. That ain't my business. Supreme Court. Oh, nice. Thank you for joining us again. Join us next time for Star Trek Strange New World Season 2 Finale followed by the anime special Fun time. it's on 30 yes and we might have a surprise or two cooked up for you uh, around Halloween time so we'll see what we can spawn there